Hi yogis, Shauna here. I'm so glad you could join me. Have you ever had those times when you just have felt constricted or closed to love? Or the last thing you wanna do is be loving to somebody who hurt your feelings? Or even that time maybe when you felt like you didn't love yourself? I know I've definitely been there myself. And so today our practice is going to open us up, invite in that gentle opening up to love. I'm gonna share a reading with you from Brendan Burchard's book, The Motivation Manifesto. So we'll go ahead and get started. We're gonna start in a seated position. Just take a moment to center in. And once we get a little bit centered, I'll start the reading. Maybe pull flesh away from sits bones, allow the spine to get tall, the shoulders to soften down the back. Just take that moment where the eyes close. And we begin to turn inward from all the outside distractions. So noticing the physical body, Maybe the palms meet the knees. Maybe the tips of thumbs meet the pointer fingers. Just kind of ground you in, center you. And allow that moment where the awareness moves to the breath. The soft inhale and exhale of breath. And then just as if the breath is throw, flowing through the heart center, begin to bring the awareness to the heart center. Love is divine. It is a spiritual energy that is at this very moment flowing through the universe, through us, through our enemies, our families, our co-workers, and seven billion plus strangers. There is no limit to it, and it cannot be bottled or protected. It exists everywhere, freely, abundantly, constantly. Love. As you breathe through your heart center, allow this awareness that love is all around you. It doesn't need to come from another person. It already lives within you. And you can tap into this place of love through the touch of your breath, the feel of your skin, the movement of your body. As you breathe into the heart center, as if the heart is breathing, breathing in, breathing out, invite in the affirmation, I open myself up to love. I open myself up to love. And just very gently begin to pull the shoulders up toward the ears, back and down. And just take a few shoulder rolls. Next time the shoulders soften back and down, that's where we'll pause. And just begin to reach the arms out to the sides. Allow the eyes to flutter open. We'll bend the elbows, the fingertips come to the shoulders. Reaching the elbows back, opening the heart, lifting the chin. This will be the inhale. And then we'll exhale, the elbow tips meet, maybe the chin tucks. Inhale as we open. Exhale as we close. Allowing this gentle fluid movement, following the flow of your breath. Allowing this opening in the heart as we lift the heart toward the ceiling, the elbows reach back, and this turning inward, this protection, this safety. And 
two more rounds. And just once you finish your second round, allow the arms to spread wide again. Open the heart, release the palms to knees. We'll take our left hand out to the left, turn the palm toward the back of the room or behind you. We'll bend the left elbow, the back of hand comes to the mid or low back. So this may feel good right here, you might stay right here. If you'd like to pull your arm a little bit further over, take your left hand to the right fingertips and just pull the right fingertips a little bit more over to the left. And release the right hand and gently allow the gaze to look over the right shoulder. Full deep breaths. Allow the breath to move in and out. Sometimes if you have tight shoulders, this can be a real breathing in exercise into those tight areas. And then gently release through center. Allow the left arm to open up super wide to the left. Allow the head to turn to the left and then release. We'll do the same on the opposite side. So right arm comes out to the right, right palm toward the or behind you, bending the right elbow, the right hand comes to the back body, maybe the left hand pulls the right hand a little bit further to that side. As you release the left hand, the gaze looks over the right shoulder, full deep breath. Beautiful, and then gently release through center. The gaze comes center, that big opening with the right arm, the gaze looks to the right, and then we'll release through center. From here, we're gonna come into tabletop and we'll move right away into our cow cat. So allow your feet to move to the right. Maybe take that blanket for comfort underneath the knees if you want to, if you have that available to you. If not, usually the mats are thick enough. We'll come onto the mat knees underneath hips, maybe the wrists underneath the shoulders, fingers spread wide, belly lifts and the heart lifts, head is in line with spine. And just when you're ready, moving into your cow cat, drop the belly, lift the chin, lift the tailbone. On your exhale, the head and neck soften, the back rises, the tailbone tucks. Inhale through cow, the chest comes forward. Exhale through cat, the back of the heart reaches up toward the ceiling. Honoring your practice, your breath. Take two more rounds, just flowing through this cow cat, maybe even turning the head a little side to side. Hmm. Once you finish your second round, allow yourself to move into child's pose. The knees spread wide, the hips and tailbone sink back. You can either bend the elbows and stack the forearms or reach the arms forward. Allow the soft flow of breath. Once again, connecting to the heart center. And then bring the awareness to the back of the heart center. Inviting our affirmation in. I open myself up to love. Breathing this truth into your heart, this affirmation in. I open myself up 
to love. And then just slowly press into the palms, lift the heart, lift the back body. We'll tuck the toes under, walk the hands back, begin to lift the knees, coming into a standing pose, making our way into mountain. So just once you're there, find your comfortable mountain pose. Begin to ground into the soles of the feet. I like a little adjustment wiggle when I move from one position to a next, the next. So just kind of snuggling into the soles of the feet. Maybe even closing the eyes, making sure the feet are about hip bone width apart. Feel the energy move up the legs. The low belly pulls in and up. The collarbone opens and then the shoulders soften down the back. And right here together, let's bring the right hand to heart center, the left hand on top of right. Connecting the breath to the heart, as if the heart center is breathing. And then just slowly opening the eyes, releasing the arms down. The same shoulder rolls we did seated, let's do standing, pulling the shoulders up and then back and down. Maybe even bend the knees and then reach up. Feeling the opening through the heart and the collarbone each time we reach the shoulders back and down. Next time shoulders are back and down, let's pause here. Take our right hand to the hip, left hand to heart. The low belly pulls in and up. You want an energetic length in the spine. We'll inhale, open the left arm to the left. The gaze looks to the left. Exhale, bend the elbow, hand to heart. Inhale as we open. Exhale as we close. The next time, let's point the thumb behind us, palm up toward the ceiling or the sky. Full deep breaths, following the flow of your breath, enjoying the gentle movement. Maybe even exaggerating that little lift of the heart and the bringing in. One more round. Beautiful, release through center. Left hand to left hip, we'll go to the opposite side. Right hand to heart. Inhale as we open. Exhale as we close. Each movement through our practice today is that invitation to invite love in. Next time, palm faces up towards ceiling, thumb reaches behind. Beautiful. Honoring your body, your breath. One more round. Release through center. Both arms come down. This time we'll separate the feet so they're a little bit wider than hip bone width and the toes point slightly out. Both hands come to heart. The elbows lift a little, the shoulders soften down. And this time, if it feels comfortable in your body, we'll bend the knees as we open. So we'll inhale, open, lift the chin, lift the heart. Exhale, close in, the chin tucks. Inhale, we open up. Exhale, restore back in. As you open this time, the palms face up towards ceiling, if that feels good, really ground into the soles of the feet. Feel the energetic lift of the spine. Full deep breaths. I open myself up to love. Just a few more, keep the strength going. Super grounded through the soles of the feet, two more.
Last one. Just once you finish, release the arms down. The right hand comes to hip, left arm reaches up. We'll side bend to the right. Reach up through center, both arms lift. We'll go to the opposite side. As you come up through center, reach both arms up and then waterfall the arms down. Awesome. Walk the feet back in. We'll come back down onto ground, but this time flat on belly. So just allow yourself to come down to the mat, making your way all the way to crocodile pose. Lowering down the elbows bend, the forearms or the hands stack and the forehead comes to forearms or back of hands. Allow the feet to separate so that they're about as wide as the mat. The hips maybe move a little side to side. And then we'll gently just begin to walk the feet in. So tuck the toes under, walk the feet in. So they're about hip bone width. Allow the toes to untuck the tops of feet, find the mat. Take our hands underneath the shoulders. The forehead meets the mat. Once you're here, pull the elbows in toward the ribs and allow the shoulders to just walk down the back. Going into a flowing baby cobra, the tops of feet press into mat, the kneecaps pull up. There's a slight tilt of the pelvis. Take one full breath in preparation. On next inhale, lift up, head, neck, shoulders, chest, as if one unit. On your exhale, lower. Inhale as you lift. Exhale as you lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Keeping the elbows pulling in. One more round. This time as you lower down, crocodile pose. Palms or forearms stack. Forehead comes to the back of the forearms or the palms. Let's lift the feet. <clears throat> and just have the feet slowly swish from side to side. Reverse windshield wipers. As the feet make their way into stillness, release the feet back down to mat one more time. We'll bring the feet hip bone width apart. <clears throat> Press the tops of feet into mat. The kneecaps pull up, slight tilt of pelvis. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders. The forehead finds the mat. The elbows pull in. Inhale as we lift. Exhale as we lower. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, lowering. One more flowing, and then we'll hold. So lift and lower. The next time you inhale and lift, hold in your baby cobra. The strength comes from the back body. Full deep breaths. Breathing into the heart center, feeling the strength and the pose, the openness of the heart. And then release down through center, crocodile pose. <clears throat> 
Gently lift the legs up. Begin with reverse windshield wipers. So the feet swishing side to side. And then begin making big circles with the feet. And reverse directions. And all this gentle flow releasing the back body. And then reverse directions one more time. Allow the feet to come into stillness. Mm. Tuck the toes under. Lock the feet in if they made their way out to a wider stance. Hip bone width apart. Hands about where the chest is. We'll just begin to lift up. The knees come forward. And let's just draw in for a child's pose. The hips reach back. Whatever variation feels good for you. Let's exhale out of the mouth. Take a full deep breath in and release. Deep breath in. Release. One more settling, sinking. Allowing each breath to sear that affirmation into your heart center. I open myself up to love. Settling through the legs, the hips, the belly and the back, through the heart center and the back of the heart, through the arms and the shoulders, through the palms of hands and the fingers. Allow this softening to move through the neck and the head. And just slowly, when you're ready, begin to wiggle through your toes a little bit. Deep in the breath. Now this gentle lifting up. And slow, almost like you're a cat or a dog waking up from a long nap. If you have a blanket, you can bring that to take under your sits bones or find your way to the mat. Coming into a comfortable seated position, allow the eyes to close, the shoulders to soften down the back into our meditation mudra, the tips of thumb, meet the tips of the pointer finger just to center in for a moment before we go on to whatever activities we have to go on to. Once again, breathing as if you're breathing through the heart center. And this is as if a whisper in your ear, hearing that affirmation one more time. I open myself up to love. Together, let's bring the arms out to the sides. Inhale as we reach the arms up. Exhale as palms meet together at heart center. Connected to heart center where deepest love lives. We first take a moment to fill ourselves up with this love. And then we send it out to each other. The community and yoga. Mm. Feeling the warmth and embrace from this love. I say with love, with honor, and with gratitude. 
I bow to that beautiful light and love that lives within you. Namaste. Shine your lights brightly.